Hello everyone, and welcome to this unboxing video for Privateer Presses from their Black Anchor Heavy Industry Lines, Scar, the Admiral of the Black Fleet. This is a huge based war engine caster model, aka Scar 3. So, insert pirate witch here, because that's what she is, with a back half of a pirate ship and a couple crew members to crew it all moved on land or water by ghosts. So, here we go. I don't usually unbox a lot of individual models like this, unless it's uh, more art-based, so Kingdom Death Monster or one of their other lines, but I had to get this and felt like showing it off. But this one's detailed enough that I felt like doing it, even though it doesn't fall under one of those. Now, normally, I'm not a big fan of the Black Anchor line because it's, here's a thing that you have to order through our online store, and we're never going to give to local stores, so that's just more money for us. Great. Well, in this case, this one was on sale, so I decided to get it anyway, because I will still buy those when they're on sale. But regardless, here it is, some bubble wrap in the way, and all sorts of different kind of pieces. So, first off, we've got, I'm guessing, literally all the pewter in one thing. And I could already see Scar in there. Oop, and there's a piece floating around the back of the foam. Good thing I didn't open that up poorly, and there's another one. The horns, again, are separate pieces. The, uh... Syraxis, uh, Syraxis, I never know how to pronounce them. The race as a whole, which Scar is the leader of, are female blood witches generally that are generally pirates. They are women only. Uh, there was a joke for a long time that the Crick's army, this army, everything in it was either undead or had tits. So some of those female characters have died, and since then, non-undead male characters have been added. It was a comical joke, mainly because the first version of this character, her horns were a weapon. They called them the Great Rack. Meh. Nah. But here is Scar herself, minus a leg and a horn. Then we have one of her two... pirate folks with her. Same, uh, all, or sorry, there's three of them. I thought there was only two. All four of these are the same, that same female pirate race. Now, yes, they do manage to reproduce. Yes, there are still no men. They go out and find worthy, they, they go out, do their raiding, and when they find worthy men, they reproduce with them. If a male is born, they then go hunt down the father and kill them, after killing the child. I know that the men, when they're f the curse slash blight slash enhancement came upon them, here's the uh, helm itself, the men kind of withered up and died and were enfeebled. I don't know if further men were just weak, like as soon as they were born, or if they just ritualistically killed them and went, no, we're not chancing it. The rest here I'm not going to actually take out because it's a bunch of tiny little pieces, but we've got two of the legs in here, and, oh, this I will actually take out. There's two of these, part of the banisters by the looks of it. But we'll get a better look at that as we go. Let me just put these right back because I don't want to lose track of them. So there's that. Everything else appears to be wrapped in bubble wrap, so give me a moment. We have what I believe is the base itself, yes. So a lot of the larger models are made with a plastic resin mix, uh, almost all of their huge base models are. This is a wave of souls, like you can see faces and things like that. It's their usual soul sculpt design, except just done in a massive wave. The model of the ship itself sits on that. Continuing, we have this really heavy piece that is, I believe, not even the bottom half of the ship. It's the top half. But look at that detail, especially 
in the back with the windows and everything. The boards are all carved out. It's just gorgeous. If I could, I would get more of the huge base models, especially the crocodile, which I had been waiting years for that to be made. And then, before I get to the last thing in bubble wrap, here's the base. This is what a huge base is. Five inches wide, and is the largest base that there is in the game. That is generally what their war engines, or colossal and gargantuans, are on. I have a few in the back. Then we have the ship in different parts. So, we have part of the side. The ship is definitely wrecked. It's not just, here's the back half of the ship, we're not giving you the front because it's too big. It literally is only the back half of the ship. Let me actually put these in the boxes. I'm taking them out. Some part of the actual ground. Some more with some more detail. This looks like where the helm would go is my guess. Another part of the side. Some more. This looks almost like a jawbone there. Uh, exact same piece, just the other side. You can see the anchors on the side, the skull and everything. Or no, those aren't anchors. <laughs> and then we've got a few other smaller pieces. These are all still the plastic resin. Uh, broken mass, a pair of cannons that look identical, and what looks to be a door with Scar's coat of arms on it. Let's see if I can put a little bit of this together real quick and try to show it off. Now, it's not going to go together too well because there's still some resin bits on the bottom that were done for the molding. Although, no, those are actually supposed to be there. I'm not too sure how this goes. Um, yeah, like the spot this thing goes, but like that's going to be the size of the whole thing. And then everything else is just added on top of it. And then compared to the base... So it's going to hang off the base in both directions, and it's like everything else I showed off goes on top of the, or connected but in some way, to these two pieces. And it is just crazy amount of detail. It is up there with the Sacral Altar, which is the Gatorman War Engine, and I so wish I had that both visually and mechanically, but that's not the point. Regardless, that's everything in this box and makes up the entire model. I don't know if I'm ever gonna get around to putting this together anytime soon, even less on painting it, but if you wanna see that, please leave a comment about it that you would like to see that more in advance. I have already gotten somebody commenting about wanting a model who will paint it, and I did push it higher to my queue of personal things to paint. Regardless, I hope you enjoyed. If you did, feel free to press the like button. If you think somebody else will enjoy this, please share this video. If you didn't like this video, go ahead and press the dislike button. I won't mind, but please leave a constructive comment as to why. Also, feel free to comment in general, such as if you want to hear my opinion on War Machine Hordes, the more on the Black Anchor stuff, or again, if you want to see this painted in advance, or you want to see it assembled and just as a separate video, please do comment about that. And if you want to see more like this, be it more unboxing videos, my painting videos, or my board game overview videos, all three of which I try to do within the Iron Kingdom setting. And anything else that I do on this channel, feel free to subscribe. Regardless, thank you for watching and have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.